Hey everyone, it's Rob here again, and uh, I don't know what's going on with my bank. I picked up two more boxes of pennies yesterday on Wednesday, and it was two more boxes of uncirculated. I now have seven boxes of uncirculated pennies from that bank in the last nine boxes. Driving me crazy. So I'm cheating on them today. I went over to a Chase and grabbed another penny box. I'm hoping that this box is circulated pennies. I don't even know what a box of circulated penny looks like anymore. Like, I don't even know what it looks like. I, I'm seeing such brand new pennies, I forgot what an old crusty penny looks like. Let me flip this camera around. Let's get to hunting, hopefully. But let's see if we've got a box of circulated pennies. All right, here it is. Box of pennies from Chase. Sorry, Wells, but you're doing me dirty lately. And you know what's funny? Ever since they knew that I was not getting the box of pennies for my business, they knew that I really was searching them. It's like they're handing me it, the new ones and laughing. All the way to the bank, even though they're already at the bank. To an extent, here we go. Please, 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 please be circulated. Boom! Yes. All right, guys, we've got a hunt to do. Let me go through this box and we will loop you back in if we find anything cool. All right, well, we're on roll number 11. Found a bunch of 2017 P's in those first few rolls. Looks like we might have a whole roll packed in here. A couple of 09s. We got a 1959, which you know I pull aside. I did find a pretty good example of another 1960D small date. Again, of the small date variety, you're really looking for the Philadelphia Mint. That's the rare one. The 1960D is pretty much a common coin. You actually get just as many of these small dates as you get the large dates. So, well, that's what they say. I've only found three ever. That's my third one found ever, and I've hunted about 25 boxes of pennies in the last few months. So, I don't know what they're saying to that. But, I bring you in because got ourselves a dime in the roll. Now, I already saw this. What? <laughs> Look what we got right next to it. I was gonna pull the dime out, we got a weedy. Holy cow. We'll have to look at that weedy, that's kinda cool. Anyway, I bring the dime up because um, it was in the roll and look what it's doing. It's stuck to another penny really nicely. We'll have to separate those two, but it's not a silver dime. I already saw the sides of it. Um, I can't get it separated here on camera, but you can see it's not a silver. It's just a regular uh, dime and I can't separate it. So. Let's leave it there for now. So let's take a look at this one. In the, in the, um, the weedy looks a little old. Could be a 40s. Could also be an ugly 50s. Let's take a look. 44. And it looks like it's a 44D. Yeah. So that's not a bad weedy. Got a 44D in the roll. I'll have to go through this, see what else we get. And once I get this uh, dime separated, it's like it's glued. Look at that. Interesting. It's like... Why would you go through all that trouble to glue a dime to the roll when you just cost yourself nine cents? I made nine cents. Let's get back to the hunt. 14th roll of the box, and look what we got peeking down here. Another weedy, guys. Let's take a little peek -see at it. Let's look at the back first. Gotta be in the 50s, man. It looks pretty clean. 55D box is shaping up very similar to my last one getting a 44d and then a 55 kind of feels eerily similar like deja vu while i have you here let's just see if we get another weedy in the stack i don't think so all right we'll get back to the hunt all right guys roll number 16 and i wanted to show you what it looks like to me quite possibly one of the most beautiful 1959 Lincoln Memorial pennies you will ever lay your eyes on. Let me get this guy up close. I mean, in circulation. Obviously, if he wasn't in circulation, he'd be really fantastic. But look at a couple of nicks on his jacket. Look at this thing. 1959. Edges are still tight. I mean... This thing is, again, he's got a scratch or a dent above the C on the back, okay? And he's got a few scratches and dents on his jacket. But at the end of the day, I have seen new pennies 
not in greatest shape. And again, we're zoomed in close. This guy gotta be one of the nice things. All the steps are still on the building, on the Lincoln Memorial. All the detail in the bushes around the sides are there. Anyway, it's a 1959 penny. I don't know why I'm showing it to you, but I love 1959 pennies. And I've got my third one, and, and it's pretty much uncirculated. It's just about almost uncirculated. Anyway, we'll get back to the hunt. I thought also what was funny is I pulled out this uh, 1964. This thing looks toasty. Anyway, all right, let's get back to the hunt. I'll look good if I find some real things. Roll number 17, and they slid down awkwardly, and during the awkward slide, I spied another weedy. And guys, this one looks old. Maybe I'm being optimistic here, but it looks, matter of fact, it's next to another old one. Is that a 1959 again? Sure is. It's next to another 1959. So we'll put this beautiful 1959 next to the other not-so-nice 1959. <laughs> and let's take a look at this thing. This thing looks old. I wouldn't be surprised. If it's anything newer than a 1945, it's been circulated and touched a lot. This thing could be a little bit older. This could be in the 30s. It'll probably be a 52 that's just beat up. Nope, 1940. I knew it was older. I figured it might have had a chance to be in the 30s. You could tell by the, the back of it, but it is a 1940, and you know what? We will take it. So we've got ourselves a 1940, a 44D, and a 1955 D. So pretty good mix, pretty good amount of years. Let's get back after the hunt, and since I have you here, we'll just do a quick uh, weedy check, see if anything else is a weedy i see lots of coppers and i see lots of other things but i don't see lots of weedies all right we'll be back in and find something else cool boom uh, roll number 24 in a box and we got an oldie it's uh looking no oh, it's not that old probably the 70s 1970 canadian foreign we'll take it though we don't have a lot of foreigns, and that's our first one. We got a dime for it, though. A lot of 17 Ps. Crazy amount. Got some uh, 09s, 59s. Got three Wheaties only and a 60D small drill error. But we need lots more than that. Let's get back to the hunt. 15th roll in. We got ourselves a 1957 plane. I saw the front of it. And now I've seen the back of it. All right. Well, we'll put the 57 plane with the weedy stack. Four deep. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to the hunt. 27th roll in. And uh, boom. Got ourselves another weedy. 46 plane. You know what? I'll take it. It's nice to see three in the 40s and two in the 50s. Whenever you can score more 40s, weedies, and 50s, that's always good. Of course, depends on the mint and the year, but I'll take it. Ball number 34, got ourselves another weedy. Let's see the back. Not bad, probably a 50s, could be a 40s. 56D, we'll take it. That is now our sixth Weedy of the box. Not doing too bad considering we still have 16 rolls and part of this one. So let's get back to the hunt. 37th roll of the box and I can see the front of it. Looks like it was a 1937. It is. We'll take the oldest Weedy of the box so far. 1937. So the good news is we now have got a total of seven Weedies. So that... Uh, is one of my better boxes as of late. Be nice to get a couple more here to get to eight, nine, or 10. Let's keep looking. Okay guys, 39th roll of the box and right from the end, the second coin in is a weedy. So that's a good sign. Looks fairly old. 44D, we'll take it. 
That is now our eighth weedy of the box. So box is doing pretty good. If I can get two more, that'll be the first double digit weedy I've had in a long time. So we're hoping for that. Let's get back to the hunt and see if we can find a few more. 42nd roll of the box and we just got our ninth weedy. This one is a 1942 Philadelphia. We'll take it. It is our third oldest of the box to go with the 37 and a 40. So nine Wheaties is actually doing pretty good. If I can get one more, that'll make 10. Let's get back to the hunt. Roll number 46, guys, and we did it. We got our 10th Wheatie. It, uh, it is a 1956 plane. It's in rough condition. Back looks pretty good. Not a bad coin whatsoever. I mean, obviously it could use a little touch up here, but I may not touch it up at all. It's a pretty nice coin overall. I kind of like that it's the way that it is and the back's in really good condition. So we'll take a 56 plane. That is now our 10th weedy of the box. We finally got double digits. Maybe we'll squeeze out an 11th one here in the last four and a quarter rolls. Okay guys, finish another box of pennies. We ended with uh, 300 and 63 coppers. We had 42 2017 P's, so it looks like a roll found its way into the box. We did get a foreign, a couple of odd uh, cut coins and a, and a dime was in the box, which is kind of cool. We got 11 2009's and six 1959's, including this really nice example of a 1959. It's in great, great shape. That's definitely a keeper coin, even though I keep all the 59's. We did get 10 Wheaties. We got a 37 plane, a 40 plane, a 42 plane, a 44D, another 44D, a 46 plane, 55D, 56D, 56 plane, and a 57 plane. So a good mix of mints there as well. I did get another 1960D small date. Kind of common, they say, but I only got a handful of those in all the boxes I've checked. And then a couple of really nice, almost uncirculated coins. A 1960 large date and a 1973. They're in great shape, so I pulled them aside as well. Probably can upgrade some of my Lincoln scent books. Who knows? At the end of the day, I had a really good hunt. Anytime you can harvest 10 Wheaties, that's a good hunt for a box of pennies. I had a lot of different years to check for errors and varieties, which I didn't get any of other than the 60D, but it was still a lot of fun. Got a dime, got a foreign. You can't get mad at that. If you enjoyed the hunt with me, please give the video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.